These fellows are movers, they're shakers, and they're they're gone. They're they're gone. Hello fellow 3D enthusiast, my name is Ian, and we are working our way through giving this guy a robotic arm. Today, we're just going to do a real quick marker removal, and this is a pretty simple technique, so it shouldn't take us too long. If you'll remember from the last tutorial, we left off with just having an arm missing, and you can see, if we zoom in here, there's this ridiculous looking piece of tape, which is really good for tracking, and we'll need it later, but at the moment, we want it to disappear and just not be visible. So the solution to getting rid of these nasty little guys is to go over into our movie clip editor and you can see here's the mask that we did last time. If we go back into the tracker, let's just track this little thing here. Should be super simple to track. I'm gonna go to the start frame and then hit control and left mouse button and then I'm gonna hit E and just track it forwards. And that goes through the footage pretty quick and it looks like it's a pretty nice track. Cool. So I'm going to go back into the mask editor. Let's just hit X over where it says the arm mask, and I'm going to make a new mask. Just call this marker in capitals because I'm really excited right now. Okay, so we've got a new mask here. Let's go shift A and add in a circle. And this appears down in the corner here. So I'm just going to kind of move it up to where it's supposed to go. Scale on it down a tiny bit. All right, so with this guy selected and the track selected, I'm going to go control P and that will parent the mask to the tracker. And at the moment, it is way too big. So I'm going to scale down our mask here. Let's just make it a little bit more the size of our piece of tape here. And I'm just gonna kind of stretch the handles a little bit, maybe to get it to conform a little bit better. I think that's pretty good. Cool. So let's head back over to our compositor real quick and let's edit this movie clip a little bit. So what we're gonna do is use the mask to set this little area as alpha so it'll be see-through there, and then we'll use the in-paint node to cover that up. And I'll show you how to do that. Shift A, mask. That's a good thing to have. I'm going to set this to marker. And let's also go Shift A, add in a converter, and set alpha, wherever that may be. Here it is. We can just drop that right on top of the movie clip and put our mask into the alpha slot. Now you can see that gets rid of everything except for what's in our little mask here, and we want everything visible and our little mask here not visible so i'm gonna go shift a color and invert and just drop that right on top and you can see we've got a little hole in the shoulder there now i'm gonna go shift a and add in a filter and in paint and with this guy when we turn up the distance it just grabs the pixels around the hole and just kind of works inward and it doesn't look super good if you're real zoomed into it but if you're zoomed out I don't think anybody will notice. If you found this little tutorial helpful and you're interested in learning more about visual effects in Blender, I've created a completely free video for you. And in this video, I just go over five tips for integrating your CG creations into real life footage. And if that sounds interesting to you, there's a link in the description. Check it out. But hey, I'd say that's about it for now. I hope you have an excellent day and cheers. Why didn't someone tell me that bus was gonna pull away in the middle of my interview? Do you know how Look, it's driving away. That is so embarrassing! I- that's not funny. It's not funny.